Buenas and half a day, everybody. My name is Casey Bihado, and I am the curator for this exhibit. I am originally from Guam, and I moved here in 2017 to attend school up here. I am a senior studying um, Pacific Island Studies and a minor in Anthropology. So let me take you around the exhibit. So this is Daughters of Micronesia. It's a exhibit focused on Micronesian female artists. And so I have a lot of pieces from around the island, and some, you get also get to learn about some of the artists that are here. Some are around my age, some are older, and all of their art varies. So um, we can start over here. So these pieces are both from Yap. Right here we have a beetle nut bag used to carry beetle nut, um, lime, and so beetle nut chewing is a very um, it's a, a pertinent aspect of uh, Micronesian culture and lifestyle, so I thought it was nice to include that, along with the yap fiber skirt. Very colorful, it's their traditional skirt, and it's you see it right as you walk in. Okay. Next, we can go over here to this next mannequin. And so this is all Marshallese weaving. So I have some necklaces here, along with the marmot. And then some very nice purses. The weaving in Marshall Islands are very intricate, very complicated. And so I just wanted to showcase all the different styles too of the purses. And so right here in the middle, this is a Palawan Bai, which is a meeting house. Yeah, and so you see in the middle right there, that is a Dilakai, which is a woman figure that is always on, usually on the Palawan meeting houses. And then right behind it, this is a basket woven by a Palawan weaver, Ruth Truce. She's actually here doing some weaving demos in the weaving tent. And so this is the men's basket, and then this is the women's basket on the other side. And then right here in the middle, this is a Tino figure from Nukoro in the island of Juan Pei, Federal States of Micronesia. It's a very, very important piece in Micronesian um, art. Very valuable because it's very um, limited. You don't find it everywhere. You see it in all the big museums, and so this is kind of a smaller figure. Okay. This is also a piece from Palau. This is by artist Eliana Koshiba. Um, so it depicts a woman at the um, ceremony. It's called Omanga. I probably pronounced it wrong, but it's the ceremony to celebrate the woman's first birth. And so they go through cleansing baths, they rub their bodies with coconut oil and turmeric, and it's just a beautiful ceremony. And I thought this was a great depiction of that important part of their culture. These are two charcoal art drawings done by Lisette Yamase. She is both Pompeian and Chupis. Um, they're beautiful drawings and they both tell different legends of um, uh, Chuk and of Pompeian. <laughs> okay, and then right here, this is Tiana Flores. She is from Saipan um, and she does different styles of art. As you can see, she does ceramics, very intricate designs. You can see how um, her designs very, like, vary, and she has different techniques, and it's just awesome the way she has done this. And then right here is a collage that she's also done. She took a lot of past newsprint, and it kind of tells the complicated relationship that the Hawaiian Kingdom has with the United States, and it shows the resilience of the Hawaiian people in this collage. Other people. Oh, we can go right here actually. So, this is a Pompeian Rus, which is a um, Pompeian skirt. Very nice design, and this was donated by Caroline Carl. And I wanted to pair it with this book by Emily Tokelo. She is a Pompeian poet, and this is actually the first. Um, published collection of Pompeian poetry. And so you can even pick it up and read the poems if you'd like. 
Um, and so I thought it was a good way to pair the skirt with the book as it is for children. Okay. <laughs>